hey guys if you have this native sidekick cart i'm going to tell you why you need to upgrade to these wheels and what you need to put them on because they're not a direct fit coming up just get outside and do something awesome all right guys so the native sidekick is essential for these heavier kayaks um, this native slayer max repel is extremely heavy and i've done videos before on exactly why you need it um, but it's a heavy kayak and it really makes getting it to and from the ramp and where you launch much easier these stock wheels with these tires are pretty good um, but the one problem with them is is that they're buoyant so when you go especially whenever you go to take out um, it's really nice to be able to put the arms in the downward position before you get off the water and same thing whenever you're getting on the water when you're getting on the water and you go to pull these out they can be a little difficult because you've got that giant air bubble that's underneath the water pushing up putting pressure on where the arm slides in to the kayak so what solves that is these wheels and i'm going to have these linked below these are the sea tug wheels and they don't have any air in them so that makes them not buoyant at all but there is one problem with these all right so i'm going to go ahead and take this wheel out and show you what the problem is so we're going to go ahead and remove this clip and this is the stock clip that comes with it and so i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this or not but we'll try when you go to install this other wheel and slide it on here this clip does not fit it doesn't work so i had to make a quick trip to lowe's and i took this whole thing in there to figure out which clip would work with this so sometimes when you got to find something like this the best thing to do is just bring it in with you that looks like some kind of kook in here with this but this is the factory one and if you look at it it's quite a bit shorter and this is the one that i found here at lowe's it's a one quarter by two and when you put that on there when you look at that there i'm going to put this through and what it does it gives you some space to be able to clip it over and then still have the wheel spin freely um, and if you look at the factory one that comes with it when you put on this wheel so here's that one quarter by two so i'm going to get two of these so that i can use this correctly all right so so i got these right here got the part right here so i'm going to go ahead and take this out truth be known is that i actually had to go buy another set of these because i've got a set of these somewhere because when i went to go buy these at lowe's i don't know where i put them so i had to go buy another set this morning before i came out here to the lake forgot where i put it but when you go to put this in here guys it fits it has that extra space so that you have the room for that bigger hub assembly so i've got that installed i'm going to get the other one installed and we're going to get out on the water so i purchased these wheels on amazon and i will link those down below i also found these clips on amazon so you can order everything that you need at once to get your wheels upgraded to these wheels that are going to help you out a lot getting on and off the water using this native sidekick cart um, when you guys use those links um, they are affiliate links and they help out the channel and what i've been doing is i've been reinvesting that money back into the channel and that's what i've been using to do these giveaways on the channel so as always guys i appreciate every single one of your eyes support so one nice thing about these two is they have a where they're a harder wheel you don't have to worry about inflating these wheels and they also have a lot less rolling resistance because they're that it's a hard plastic with like a rubberized coating over the wheel she's a rough little ramp here all right so now that i'm in the water i'm just going to pull this pin and that easily comes out no more fighting it when you're trying to get it that is so much easier no more fighting trying to get that out whenever it's underneath the water because all that water resistance would push up on that and you would have to fight it and same thing when you go to put it back in when you go to put it back in you're just going to take it out 
put it down in the water, line up the thing, and slide it back in. So much easier. So now I am ready to get out on the water and go do some fishing today. Um, got a little bit later start than I wanted to, but you know what? Never give up. And as always, guys, don't forget, get outside, do something awesome, and take somebody with you if you get a chance. And I'll see you guys in the next video.